With yearly price increases and difficulty sourcing Kodak's bulk rolls of Vision 3, is it still possible to save money shooting film in 2025? Let's find out. Film. To start, we need to know what a roll of film costs, as well as the cost of developing and scanning. We'll be using the top selling color and black and white films according to Google as our control group. Those are Portra 400 and HP5. At the time of recording, the average online cost of a 35mm roll of Portra is $16.50 and in 120 for oh sh and in 120 for $14.50. 35mm HP5 can be found for $8.50 and in 120 for $8.30. Developing and scanning. Using Google, I searched and randomly picked five online photo labs. I selected the highest quality scans offered. Some labs charged for not cutting the negatives, so I selected that option if it was offered. Two labs included shipping in their pricing, while three did not, so keep shipping cost in mind if you're using a mail-in lab. Here's the average price for a mail-in lab to develop and scan. One roll of 35mm color film, $26. One roll of 120 color, $24. One roll of 35mm black and white, $28. One roll of 120 black and white, $27. And here's the total with a roll of Portra 400 or HP5. 35 millimeter color, $42.50. 120 color, $38.50. 35 millimeter black and white, $36.50. 120 black and white, $35.30. Obviously, there are cheaper films than Portra and HP5 that will further reduce cost, but for the sake of time, we'll stick with these two films since they're the most popular. Also, if you regularly shoot film and have it developed and scanned at these prices, please let me know where you work. I will start there immediately. Now that we have a base cost to work with, let's get those numbers down. If we have the lab develop only and we scan and color correct our film at home, not only will this give us the highest quality scans at no cost, but we'll also have maximum flexibility for color correcting as well as bringing the cost per roll down to $30.50 for 35 millimeter color, $28.50 for 120 color, $26.50 for a black and white 35 millimeter, and $26.30 for 120 black and white. If you want specifics on how to make your own scanning setup at home, you can check out how to scan 35 millimeter film in this video here. If you're scanning medium format at home, you can check this video out here. Finally, this video will show you how to use Lightroom and Negative Lab Pro to color correct your film after scanning. These videos will also be linked in the description. Want to save even more money on film? I thought so. Let's see our totals again. If we take things a step further and develop at home, this will significantly cut down the cost of shooting film. It's not difficult, and after a few rolls, it's incredibly satisfying. The average cost of a C41 powder kit is $35. The Cinestill, not affiliated, variety allows you to develop 24 rolls. This works out to $1.45 to develop one roll of C41. There are numerous black and white developers available. For today's example, we'll be using Xtal. An Xtal powder kit runs on average $20. This works out to $1.25 for a roll of 35mm and $2 a roll for $120. Bonus tip number one. If you really want to economize your black and white developing, you can develop with Replenish Developer. Most black and white developers have instructions on how to do this. It'll cut the cost to develop a roll of black and white down to 38 cents for both 35 millimeter and 120. So by developing a home, we reduce our cost per roll to $17.95 for 35 millimeter color and $15.95 for 120 color, $8.88 for 35 millimeter black and white and $8.68 for 120 black and white. If you wanna learn how to develop film at home, you can check out how to mix a C41 powder kit here and Xtal here. The developing walkthrough for C41 is here. The walkthrough for developing Xtal hasn't been made yet, so bear with me and it will be posted sometime in the future. Bonus tip number two. 
If you're wondering how to keep your chemistry fresh before it goes bad because you're unable to shoot 24 rolls of color or 10 to 15 rolls of black and white all at once, I've got you covered. These aluminum wine bladders have kept developing chemistry fresh for up to a year. Just make sure it's stored in a cool location and all the air is squished out of the bladder. Now you can shoot your rolls over months of time without wasting your chemistry. If you're still watching, I've got another way to save even more of your hard earned cash by spooling your own rolls or bulk loading. Unfortunately, this pertains mostly to 35 millimeter unless you're an absolute animal and want to tackle cutting and respooling 65 millimeter IMAX film down to 120 size. I didn't think so. Anyway, back to bulk loading 35 millimeter. This is straightforward with 35 millimeter black and white. You just buy a 100 foot roll of film, place it in a bulk loader and load up your empty canisters. Where do you find empty canisters? Ask your local lab, they'll have plenty. A 100 foot bulk roll of HP5 is $116. You'll get approximately 1836 exposure rolls, which makes the cost per roll $6.44. Adding the replenished developing cost of $0.38 cents puts us down to $6.82 for the film, development, and high-res scans. At this reduced price point, you can shoot 5 rolls of 35mm HP5 for the same price you'd pay for one roll of HP5 at the store that the lab develops and scans for you. Not bad, right? Bulk loading color film is a little trickier, but it is still possible. Unfortunately, Kodak or Fuji doesn't sell 100 foot rolls of their color films, but you could purchase 400 foot cans of their Vision 3 ECN2 motion picture film. I said could purchase because there's currently some changes over at Kodak and the 400 foot cans of Vision 3 aren't readily available on all of the big online retailers for the average person to purchase. But I have done a little bit of research and it looks like it is still possible to order direct from Kodak. I've got a workaround. What if I told you it was possible at the time of recording to buy the 100 foot rolls of Vision 3? I'm aware of two stores selling 100 foot rolls of Vision 3, Film Photography Project and Ultrafine Online, neither of which I'm affiliated with or sponsored by. I have purchased from Ultrafine, however, and they sell their 100 foot rolls for $119.95. Again, we'll get approximately 1836 exposure rolls out of 100 feet of film. This makes our cost per roll, wait for it, $6.66. Scary, right? Uh huh. Adding the $1.45 developing cost puts us down to $8.11 for a roll of color film, development, and high res scans. At this reduced price point, you can shoot 5 rolls of 35mm ECN2 for the same price as a roll of Portra that you buy at the store that the lab develops and scans for you. You can watch a video on bulk loading here. So, is it possible to save money and shoot more film in 2025? For now, that answer is yes. If you know any other ways to save money shooting film, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And remember, if you shoot digital, there's no cost to take pics.